So, Lacey, you know, I've been listening a lot of to your a lot of your interviews that you just did right now, and also seen all of your promos where you have talked about, you know, how you grew up and all of the struggles that you've been through. And you talk about discipline from your Marine background. I do, however, want to ask you when you do have tough times, because we are all humans. How do you, you know, kind of go through that stuff? How do you handle all of that? What is what is the thing that makes you happiest in those days that you're feeling down? Is this plane going to stop my response? No, this microphone will pick it up, actually. Perfect. All right. Um, you know, day, bad days are going to happen. Um, and you just got to take it one day at a time. Uh, counseling. I, no matter how badass you are, no matter how tough you think you are, you, you need to be vulnerable. When you are going through a situation that is, that is you are dying inside, you need to be able to say that and you need to be able to get the help. And I think that that's a lot of me being a veteran and a, and a lot of my brothers and sisters that I see, it's like, we can't be weak, right? We can't be hurt, we can't be down and out. But that is the furthest thing, you know, the strongest thing you could do in life whenever it does knock you on your ass is admit that you have fallen and find the help. So that's what I do. Um, the VA they offer counseling um, motivation I know this may sound stupid motivational quotes when I wake up the first thing that I see is a quote about you know this being a brand new day and it's up to you on how you want that day to go so um, uh, affirmations waking up and seeing the good that you have in life because you know there's a lot of lists that suck if you write it down but there's also a long list that's good you've got family you've got a husband you've got a bed you could lay in you've got food you can eat I every single day when I start my day I think of the good things that I do have and then I focus on how to get rid of the bad. So it's one day at a time, uh, counseling, being vulnerable, and freaking fixing it whenever it comes up. I love that because it is something that, you know, obviously we all have our ups and we all have our downs and all of that. Now, because we are here in Inglewood and, uh, you know, we're out here talking to all of the vets, I'm sure it must feel incredibly special for you, you know, given that you were in the Marines. Talk to us a little bit about what it is to be around all of these people that, you know, have served for the country. It's incredible. When I got out, one of my biggest things that I was that sucked was the fact that I was getting out of that brotherhood, that sisterhood. Um, but then WWE is such a huge supporter of our veterans, and that is the, my best thing about my job because. Um, I mean, every week I'm at a different military base. I'm at a different branch of the military. I get to see not only our active duty, our spouses. We got USO tours. We got tribute to the troops. Um, and I still get to be around them. So while I may not be active duty, I still get to see what's going on within the military and places like this that provide housing for our brothers and sisters that are going through tough times freaking sign me up. I'm excited. So I am curious because, you know, when you think of the military, you think it's mainly like, um, um, you know, it's mainly men, right? And, but there are a lot of women that are out there and they're fighting and, you know, going out there and risking their lives. You know, you're one of them. Uh, Lacey, for you, what would you say is the biggest misconception that people have about women that uh, are in the military? What do you think people should know about women that are out there uh, fighting for our country? That there are women out there that can get the job done. Um, there are women that can't get the job done. There are men that can't get the job done. Um, but like there are people that can. So if you fit the billet and you could accomplish the task at hand in every single way, um, then I feel like that should be known and that should be what you should be challenged. And, and if you have that, then you should be able to do any job. But I feel like, um, I mean, for me personally, I proved that through every job I've ever had, every schoolhouse I went to. Not everybody, not all women want to do that, though. Not all women have what it takes. So it's just a case-by-case -case basis. I've had a lot of support throughout the military, and, um, you know, I've been put to the test and have passed every single time. So it's just one test at a time, one woman at a time, and one job at a time. You mentioned being put to the test, and, you know, I've never been in the military. I don't know what it is that, you know, you guys uh, do for training and the preparation and all of the hard work that entails. But uh, I do want to ask you, what, it, what was, like, was there ever a moment where you thought, oh, my God, can I really do this? What was that biggest challenge for you, and how did you feel if and when you did overcome it? I'm not going to lie. No, I've never, there was never a moment where I questioned if I had what it took because no matter what, I'm going to do it. Um, and I just went in with a mindset that I'm going to give it everything that I have. Um, but, I mean, it was challenging. The military is challenging. The Marine Corps is challenging. I come from a challenging upbringing. Um, so, to me, it was, it was more personal than just if I could do it. I didn't have a choice. I had to do it. Um, so, I, I had that mindset from day one all the way until today. That's how I live my life. So now let's go ahead and dive into WrestleMania because that's why we're here. That's what we're celebrating for you. Uh, getting to be out here and really getting to experience it through the community events and everything else that WWE is putting together. What has you the most excited for this weekend? 
Um, well, unfortunately, I, I'm not on the card for WrestleMania. If I was, I'd be kicking ass and taking names like I do every day. Um, but, I mean, just, you know, things like this, community events, like you said, um, this one is particularly my favorite that I have on the schedule, um, is the veterans, um, veterans that are homeless, uh, getting to meet the companies that come through and are here for our vets. Getting to meet those veterans personally is freaking incredible. Um, and just seeing a positive difference being made. I think WWE does an incredible job as partnering with um, partners that do such big influence in their lives and people's lives from USO um, to here. It's just, it's been incredible to be a part of that and seeing what our company does for, for human beings, period. Not just veterans, but um, getting to be a part of that, being a voice for them people are, is, um, is motivating to me. So we have a huge schedule all around this city um, doing that. So I get excited. And I do want to talk about this because you knew ever since you, you congratulations by the way on having your last baby and then coming back to WWE and you know kind of picking up where you left off from and currently right now being part of the SmackDown brand. I know you mentioned earlier in another interviews that you want to be women's champion, but we know it takes a bit. It takes right. work to get there, right? So for you, Lacey, what do you want to do in the near future within WWE to start making your journey to becoming, uh, you know, SmackDown women's champion, for example? I mean, I want to work, you know, and never once in my entire life have I ever been given anything, and I don't, I don't want anything handed to me. Um, I've, I've liked how my career has gone. I like that I don't just come running out and win a, win a title. Um, I want to work for it. So I think after WrestleMania, um, every opportunity that I get, that I fight for, that I work for, that I bang on doors for, um, I'm going to take it for what it is, an opportunity to show the world that um, – that I am the prime example of what every woman should be, what every woman can be, and I am uh, and should be a WWE champion. And I got two last questions for you, kind of silly, but because this is in Hollywood and we're out here in the movie world and all of this, I do want to ask you, what is your all-time favorite movie? Oof. It has to be either Seven Pounds or The Pursuit of Happiness oh, with Will Smith. One. That's a good one. And last question is, if anybody could play you in a movie in the story of your life, who would you want that to be? My daughter, Summer Estrella. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you so much, Lacey. It was nice to chat with you today and continue to enjoy the rest of WrestleMania weekend. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.